Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura, I'm a hairstylist, and today we're gonna be comparing the different lift that you get when you use bleach versus high lift versus permanent hair color. I'm gonna be testing these colors on two different hair swatches. These swatches are both human hair, they're both virgin hair, meaning they haven't been color treated before. One is a little bit darker and coarser than the other one, but this will just give you a good example of what each product does to different hair colors when you're deciding which product is gonna be best for you, if you should use bleach or if you're gonna be able to use high lift color. To get a nice clean blonde, a lot of times you do need to use bleach, especially if you don't wanna have any warmth in the color. But if your natural color is a little bit lighter, sometimes you can get away with using high lift color. So I actually already have my bleach swatches made. I made these when I made my last video. These are what we got when we used bleach for about an hour. Um, I was testing the different developer levels. We found that the developer that you use when you use bleach really didn't make that much of a difference. So I'm not going to make new bleach swatches for this example. I'm just going to use these ones that we already have so we're not wasting hair. But I am going to make a swatch for each color with the high lift and with the permanent color so that we can really compare all three to see what kind of lift we get with each. Okay, so first we're gonna use our high lift and we're gonna use Pale Violet Pravana. And when mixing your color, you really wanna pay attention to how much developer to how much color you use. So for this example, it's one to one and a half. So we're gonna use one part hair color and one and a half parts developer. And for the high lift, we're gonna go with 40 volume. I like to mix my color using grams. A lot of people prefer to do ounces. It really doesn't matter, but I find that when I use grams, I can be so much more precise. We don't need a whole lot, so we're just gonna do, let's do 10 just to be safe. So if we do 10 grams of high lift, then we're gonna do 15 grams of developer. All right, we got 17 grams, really is not gonna make a difference. Okay, and so the permanent color that we're gonna use is 10.13. So this is a extra light ash golden blonde. So we'll clear the scale. And again, we'll do 10 grams. And Pravana's permanent color, their regular color line is one to one and a half also. I don't know where it says it on the box, but you're just gonna have to trust me on this one that it is also one to one and a half. Oh, we got 11 grams, didn't even notice that. That's not a problem. If you are off by a gram or two, it does not make a difference. Um, when you do ounces, you're likely off by a few grams anyways. I prefer to do grams because I can get really, really precise with it. But again, if it's off by one or two grams, especially when it comes to developer, it's not gonna matter. Okay, so now we'll mix these up. In this bowl, this is the lighter bowl with the lighter brush. I always like to use a different bowl and a different brush when I'm doing different colors so that I can tell them apart. I normally, if there's a lighter color, I put it in a lighter bowl and a darker color goes in a darker bowl. So this is our high lift color. And this is our permanent color. And like I said, I already have the bleach swatches, but this is the bleach that I used. It's Pravana Pure Light Power Lightener. This is actually one to three. So it's one part lightener to three parts developer. 
Um, but since I already have those swatches, I'm not gonna mix that and I'm not gonna make another one, but just so you're aware of what we used on it. Okay, so here they are wet. I always like to show examples of what hair color looks like wet because you really can't see the color very well when it's wet and it's so much easier to see the true color when it's dry. Most of my clients always ask when I'm shampooing their color out at the bowl, they're like, oh, how does it look? And I'm like, it looks wet. <laughs> so that first one was high lift. This is the color. Still looking pretty brown here, especially these darker, the level fives. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry them and we'll see what the results are. Okay, so here we are dry and I went ahead and brought over our bleach swatches. And you can see that the bleach swatches are drastically brighter than the high lift and the regular color. So I'm gonna take, let me grab, this is our lighter example. This is the initial hair color. So here's the bleach. Here's the high lift and here's the permanent color. So I have to say the permanent color and the high lift came out very similar. Honestly, they're almost identical. The high lift is maybe a little bit brighter, but those came out almost spot on. The bleach obviously takes the cake for the brightest. Now, if we were to put a toner on this, we could get this to a really pretty blonde. And here's our darker example. And we'll go ahead and take bleach, high lift, permanent color. So on this example, these two are a little bit more different. You can see that the high lift did a better job at lifting this darker color up than the level 10 permanent color did. The level 10 permanent color really just kind of softened the initial color. Here's the original color. So it did lighten it some, but it kind of made it just a richer brown, whereas the high lift actually did a little bit of lightening. And obviously the bleach did a pretty significant job. Now we could put a toner on this and we could correct some of this raw lift orangey color here, but for the sake of the example, I didn't want to. The nice thing about using high lift or regular color is that they're toning the hair as they're lifting it. So these don't need to be toned. Bleach will only lift the color. It will not tone it as well. High lift will tone the color and so will regular color. If you're wanting a brighter blonde, you're gonna wanna go with bleach. If you're just wanting something softer and something healthier on your hair, then these are good options for you. I also want to show in the Pravana color book what color we actually used. So for the permanent color, we used 10.13. So that's this. So let's compare at how close they came. So I wanted to show this because just because you pick a color in the book does not mean that that's the color that the hair is going to turn. Obviously, this did not turn into that. So when you're picking your color out of the book, a lot of this is just the tone we used. If we were to apply this color over top of this, we would likely have this exact color. Since we were coloring over darker hair that was not pre-lightened, we had a lot of levels of lift to go up before we could get to this bright of a blonde. Okay, so there you have it. I hope this was helpful in determining on if you should use bleach, high lift, regular color, as well as learning what the differences are between these types of colors.
Always remember that when you're trying to decide what color you should use on your hair, that there are so many different factors that determine what your outcome will be. The starting color of your hair, if your hair is virgin or color treated, the texture of your hair, these things all make a big difference. As I mentioned earlier, bleach is normally the most picked option, but if you're not wanting a whole lot of lift and you're wanting to lift and tone at the same time, high lift can be a good option for you. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.